Okay, YouTube, here we go. This is my idea of the portable solar backup emergency power super duper 12 volt generator. Yeah, right. All right, this is what I've built so far. This will be phase number one of two or three along the build process. So what I have here is a portable generator. It's, housed, it's gonna house two batteries inside. It's gonna be solar power charge, battery charge, however you wanna charge it. It's 1500 watts on the front here. I have I installed the little meter so it tells me the voltage I have the USB below it below that's my 12 volt outlet port side here once we get inside I've installed this little power strip that comes down so I could just run my power right off of that I'll walk around here exciting times here we go coming around it's on wheels on the back side here we have where I have an Anderson style connector, which is going to connect probably two 100 watt solar panels. Then I have this. You see here, this little connector here, that's for the Harbor Freight. So I can put the Harbor Freight and another panel set on here. Just, I have the Harbor Freight. It's not really doing anything. Why not just put it onto here? You can look at this little bar here. The reason I put that there is so when I open the top up, it'll catch onto that bar and stop it, which you'll see here in a second. All right, let's open this thing up and see what we got. A couple little latches here, and we're going to open it up. And as you can see, it stops on that bar. On the top part of here, foam insulation all the way around, so it'll seal onto there, <clears throat> make it so it's watertight. And you can see here inside, right now I have one battery in here. Second battery will set in the compartment over here. Right there, you're looking at my 30 amp charge controller. It's not an MPPT, it's, you know, what the heck. A little cheap jobber there, but it does fine. I've used them in the past, they're great little systems. If you look down inside of here, you'll see the two metal bars with the wood in between. So underneath there, there's a gap. I'm about two inches of space underneath there. That's where all the wiring is hidden down below there. So when you open these up, you see a lot of people, Jesus, they got wires all over the place. Nah, I don't think so. Keep it simple. Keep it clean. That way no one's messing with it. Inside of here, I have a main disconnect. There's the charge controller. I have a main disconnect inside of here. So, battery from here comes over. Goes to my main disconnect. 150 amps. From there, it's going to come back out on this side. Goes down. And goes into the bottom of the inverter. And then over here, my solar, which comes in from right over there the solar comes in as you've seen in the back goes to the top 30 amp breaker then you'll see two wires one's the harbor freight going in one's the anderson plug going in then it comes out the other side with one wire that goes up to the charge controller so i have a circuit breaker before the solar comes in then it comes out of the charge controller goes through the other circuit breaker comes out then it goes up into my battery which is right there then you see this little wire here coming off of here. This comes off of here, goes into a 15 amp fuse, comes down, that goes into this switch right here. This switch right here, when I turn it on, turns on this, activates this. So it's fused there, comes straight off the battery, and I have a switch, I can turn it on and off. All I gotta do is turn the little switch on, and I can run my USBs, and it's gonna tell me from the outside, I can see what the voltage is. Whew negative land over here this side of the battery but there'll be a jumper that the wire is going to go down and come up to the next battery inside of here i cut the wood on the bottom and i have a 1500 watt modified sign inverter this is a heavy duty one I had setting around 1500 watts i know it's modified sign but it's what i had right now and that goes in turn that thing on here it fire up it goes out to the switch i have two more plugs here turn that off Here's where I jumped all the wires going across in the three port. So the power comes in positive, negative on the bottom. Then you just loop them all the way up and it gives you the power all the way across. Those go down, come out, and go to the fusing. Very simple, basic setup inside of here. As you can see, there's more space. I'm going to put a 300 watt, 600 watt pure sine wave inverter. That way I can run computers, TVs, cleaner power. You're not going to draw a bunch of wattage on that stuff, so you don't need a heavy-duty one. This is more for drills or power tools or a heavy load I need to start. I can use that right there. 
that's about it right now. I mean, this is real basic, simple. Up here, I'm going to have lighting coming on, some LED lighting on the front, on the top. So that'll be another phase coming through. I'm waiting on more parts. But as you can see, it's pretty simple. It's on wheels. You can see, just wheel it right around anywhere you want to go. You just push it with one finger. Ching, the middle one, why not? And then these bolts that I have going through here, I didn't want to do a bunch of welding onto the box. I'm just going to cut those off with the grinder, make them shorter. But for now, it's a pretty cool little system. It's 12 volt. You can charge it multiple ways. I'm going to charge it with solar. Probably going to get another kind of charger so I can go off my other arrays that I have up here, my main ray. So in the afternoon, say at noon, when I'm done charging my batteries over there, I'm going to have a way of going from there to this box about 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon to boost the power and charge this thing up 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, there's all kinds of ways to do things. I mean, they're basic. You don't get much out of them, but I'm bored. They're fun to build. I have nothing else to do. I love playing with solar, so this is the next one. I've seen a bunch of people on YouTube build these little cheesy ones and stuff like that. And, you know, you're just not going to get a lot out of them. I mean, they don't have that many amp hours and... You know, all these people show you stuff, running a drill and this and that. Yeah, you can do that. I'm not going to run a TV all day long because you have to have a lot of power to do that. But for here, for backup, for lighting, for tailgating, stuff like that, these are great. Besides, you know, what the heck, why not? kind of went with a 12 volt just because there's so many multiple ways of charging it. If I take it somewhere, it's just basic. It's not a big system, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't need to be 24 or 48 on a small system scale. But that's it for now. As you can see, I can just shut this thing down like that. It's all steel. And when it comes down here, you put the little latches on there, latches it down so nothing's going to leak in there. On the sides here, as you can see down there, I drilled some holes. Whoops, where am I at? Okay, I drilled some holes here and on the other side. So on this side, I have holes on the top. On the opposite side, I have some holes. I'll probably drill some more holes in there, and then I have some on the bottom. So I can vent coming through, so it is venting out, even though I'm not using the, I'm using sealed batteries, gel type. You don't have to worry about it, but still you have airflow going in, airflow comes out, so that's kind of the process of that. Well, that's it for now on the mid-size portable solar generator, and uh, this is build part number one. So I'll show you what's going on, and I'll have probably two or three videos on this as it progresses. It'll be a while right now, probably a few weeks before I get into the second phase and the third phase, but this is it for now. See uh, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I've seen a bunch of these things built, and I'm like, what the heck? Why not? I got some stuff laying around. Let's build one. Okay, until next time.